One of the top students in electrical and computer engineering is Emmanuel Johnson, whose initial career path started in a different direction. I can't see myself sitting behind a blue screen all day program. That's boring. I want to go into business. I want to own my own business. But it wasn't until I had this idea for an actual product and I wanted to build it. And I realized that, hey, if I could build this, I could start that company, but I don't have the knowledge to build it. And as I try to seek that knowledge, everything kept pointing to computer engineering, so to speak. So that's kind of where that energy came from. It said, well, maybe one day, initially, my thought was maybe if I learn all these skills, I can build that company. For Emmanuel and other students in the program, they find themselves being groomed as a candidate to pursue a graduate degree from day one. The graduate programs in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering uh, are both the master's program and the PhD program. Uh, we offer um, both the uh, course only master's degree as well as the project and thesis based degrees. We prefer students to do the thesis or project because it's a little bit more in depth. The course only is really for working professionals who are seeking an advanced degree while working. And I remember as a sophomore, as I was speaking to one of my professors about going to get a PA, uh, uh, MBA, he, he kind of looked at me and said, well, you may want, you might want to get an MBA, but I think you'll be doing yourself a disservice just by getting an MBA. I can see you as a PhD candidate. And at that time, I never really considered that. But just to know that somebody else believed and saw me as a, a prominent scholar made me want to push to, to accomplish great things. The close relationship that our faculty have with our students naturally leads to those inquisitive students coming on as undergraduate researchers with those faculty members. And that has a wonderful way of having those students then pursue graduate degrees and that's why so many of our students go on. In fact, recent statistics show that about a third, 33% of our undergraduate students go directly on for a master's or PhD degree once completing their bachelor's degree. So those students who are driven to achieve are some of our best students because they understand that they are here for the quality of the education that we offer, but that's not enough. They are also here to blend that quality of their technical education in engineering or computer science with their talents as people. So when you combine those two things, those are the things that we're nurturing. So we find that those students who understand that their leadership matters. Now, it doesn't mean that there's never anything that may be a difficult for them in their curriculum. That's okay. The point is that they know that with putting more effort in and, and really figuring out how to transcend beyond anything that makes them stumble, they'll know that they are able to deliver to the highest level, and those are the great students for us. As a student in electrical and computer engineering, you'll have a voice that will be heard. The students actually uh, circulated a petition and said, we want an opportunity to work with robotics in the College of Engineering. And so we took that petition, we said, we're gonna run with it. We gave them a room, we equipped it with all the neat toys, the computers, the robot kits, the hardware to do the competitions, and they've been having a great time with it ever since. 